Several weeks ago when we was planning for the crisis and things that may be a need, naturally this was one of the things that surfaced. Uh, and it's kind of neat to think how organic that was. There was a group probably of 10 people at that time and it was just kind of floated out there. I mean, we'd done some similar things in some of our other emergency responses, but uh, just kind of a group uh, thought, collaborative effort, and it kind of come to be. So it def definitely was initiated, um, I guess you'd say from the government, but it's kind of neat when you live in a small community such as this, even though we say it was initiated by the government, it was kind of a foregone conclusion that the government would not necessarily have to run it. We have ministerial alliance, numerous volunteers and community activists uh, that all just pitched in and we kind of, when you present something like that, you know that's going to be the outcome. The public library stepped up and donated the space and uh, just a, a wealth of volunteers and community that made this thing actually become a reality. And so we're very excited and that's one of the beautiful things about living in a small faith-based community that you get that kind of participation. As part of our community's faith-based uh, population and as a, as a pastor of a church, this has been a particularly important time for, for me and others to come together uh, in this community effort to serve our, our neighborhoods here. Uh, one of the things that we've struggled with, of course, is the fact that we're not able to meet together uh, for worship on a weekly basis in our building but we've come together around the idea that the church has never been about a building. It's been about people who love the Lord and who love others and who want to serve. Now, one of the things that, that we do normally on every, uh, every month, on the first Sunday of the month at the church that I pastor, for example, is that we take communion. We take that bread and we take that, uh, that cup and we remind ourselves of the things that we're sharing. This situation, while it's kept us from being able to worship together and meet in that communion, has given us an opportunity for something bigger than that. Sharing and helping in our community, being a part of that uh, outreach effort that says, if you're, uh, if you're in an at-risk population, if you're afraid of being out among people, if you're afraid to go to the grocery store, then we'd like to be a part of that response that says, we will meet you in that and we will help you uh, with that. I've been sort of blown away by how, how many phone calls I've gotten from people, not afraid, not saying, is this going to be the very end of, of life as we know it? But people calling me saying, how can we help? What can we do? How do we plug in to be able to assist in our community? And this outreach has become a great vehicle for being able to say, you want to help? This is a good way to do it. You've got neighbors that need groceries. You've got great neighbors that need their medications delivered. Come and be a part of helping getting those things to them. Powell Countyans, this is the soul of our community, being able to rise up and help one another. It's what has made our community so special, unique, and distinguishes itself, not only here in our region, across the state, but also nationally, that we, as people, have time and time again no matter what is thrown at us, been able to step up and help one another. That's what makes you and so many others so special. I'm proud of the volunteers who have come out of their way to practice social distancing here in healthy habits to ensure that when we go out and deliver to the public, engage with the public in our limited ways that our people are safe, that they are secure in knowing that what we're doing is to help and to help one another pride of one another to show that here in Powell County we are something great. We can do and step up to the efforts no matter what is what is taken upon us. That is our history that we will continue not only today, tomorrow, but throughout this crisis. If you need help, if you need help either getting groceries for your prescription or if you're in need of food, please reach out. Reach out to us and one of our volunteers will step up, deliver groceries, grab your prescriptions, and safely and securely deliver it to your home, knowing that no one in Powell County should be left in need. We're so grateful for you, our volunteers, and our community support. Please reach out at any time at 606-663-4555. Thank you again, and have a blessed day.